start of the day. The sun says hello, it's shining my way. It's saying let's go. It's so nice to hear the button go ding. Who could it be? My heart starts to sing. Albie's elevator. Albie's elevator. Albie's elevator. Fine folks. My name is Ricochet Paloma. I'm new in the building. Floor seven, if you'd be so kind. You got it, Ricochet. I am Albie, and this is Tibbets. Right o Loretta. <gasps> and and Huggy Pepper. Whoa, I love the feather in your hat. <laughs> this old thing? I have a fabulous story about it, <gasps> if you care to hear. Oh, yes, 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 please. Well, I was visiting a cousin in Paris, Paris. And I happened upon a parade. Everyone was dancing, and the whole city smelled like fresh buttered croissant. Mouthwatering, or as the French say, a la chante. There was a stunning singer on top of one of the parade floats, hitting the most supremely high notes and wearing the most incredible hat I ever seen. I thought to myself, oh, oh, I wish I had a hat like that. And at that moment, the singer looked at me. We locked eyes. And we had a cosmic connection. It was like he could read my thoughts. He took off his hat and threw it. Like a frisbee. Just like a frisbee. Oh. I caught it. Oh. The singer winked at me. I mouthed. Thank you. And I've worn it ever since. I consider it my lucky story hat. <gasps> wow, 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 wow! <laughs> An incredible story. Why, thank you. I do consider myself a storyteller. I write plays, books, and of course, tell stories to folks like you. Oh, 
like elevator operators? I tell stories in elevators, on stages, all over the place. Wow! Uh, I wish I had a story. Hm. Everyone has a story, Alby. Mm -hmm. uh, when you tell a story, there are just three parts. First, a beginning. When you found the parade. Then a middle part. When you wished you had a hat. And finally, an ending. When the gentleman gave you his hat. Huh. Exactly. But I don't have a hat story or a feather hat. <sighs> I'm sure you have a story, Alby. People tell stories about all kinds of things. Mm. Sometimes people use stories to talk about their feelings. Oh, I have a story about a time I felt very happy. <gasps> Tremendous. Care to share? Gladly. Oh, once I was having a rather sad day. I thought everyone had forgotten my birthday. Then Frank got on for what I thought would be a normal elevator ride. But lo and behold, Hello, old Dibs. Didn't think we forgot your birthday, did we? He brought my brother, Roy Bits. Oi, come on in, Dibs. And Roy Bits brought our old neighbors, Clavin and Eloise. Hello, Chow and Chow. Sir, it's a looking ship shape as ever, Governor. We spent the whole afternoon remembering old frequencies and playing our favorite music. was my best birthday ever. Brava! A great story with a beginning, middle, and end. A very happy one. Oh, wow! A birthday brother surprise! That's amazing! Anyone else have a story? Oh, Ezra? <gasps> Huggy Pepper has a story. That's a girl. Well, go on, Huggy. Tell us your story. Ooh, ba ta pa ta There was a rather bother. So, Reddles, we're gonna move on. ba ba Make a follow bleacher! Blender, like a fellow Britter. Beep. Beery, no. Kiki Sosa. Beer, beer. Baby, have a hello? Beer, beer. Let pa see what Uga. Earth lava thing for us. Weepa, okay, pop. Oh, the Yalta, the Bob, the An excellent story. It had a beginning. Oh, Huggy was trying to carry a bucket of water up a mountain. A middle. The water was too heavy and he couldn't make it. And an end. Huggy's friends helped him out, and they made it up the mountain together. You're getting it. <laughs> I am! Do you want to try telling a story now? I've never been to Paris or climbed a mountain. I don't have a brother either. I don't have anything exciting to tell a story about. Hmm. Everyone has a story worth sharing. It doesn't even have to be about anything fancy. Oh, like a hot air balloon trip or eating a baked potato on the moon. It doesn't have to be about either of those things. Oh. You're special just because, well, uh, just because you're you. And I'm the very best at being me. Absolutely! Yes, Elevator Operator Albie! So tell us a story about the things that make you special. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <clears throat> Once I thought I didn't have any stories. 
A beginning? But my friend said that being myself was enough and that we all have a story to share. A very nice middle. Now I know that I don't need a fancy hat or a hot air balloon or a brother. I have awesome glasses, I'm great at pressing buttons, and I have the very best friends of all time. That's special enough for me. And an end. Truly lovely, Albie. So glad to be your friend, Albie. <clears throat> now arriving at the seventh floor. Thanks for the ride, Albie. Until next time. Keep sharing your story. Lead support for this program has been provided by the William Penn Foundation, with additional support from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Sidewater Finley Foundation, the Thomas Walk Charitable Fund, and viewers like you. Continue the fun at home with art projects, activities, and printables, paired with the episode you just watched. Available at whyy.org slash Elevator.